So let's say you have created all of the questions in your online quiz and then you have done with all the settings. Now you would like to share it with your student. So now to share the quiz, you just have to click the share button and there are several ways to share the quiz. The first one is by embedding the link. Okay, so you just have to copy and then share it during your online session with the students or share the link with the students. However, the link is pretty long. So I usually use tiny.cc which is a URL shortener. Paste your long URL here and then shorten it. So this is the link that you will get. So you can just copy this one and share it with your student. Okay. The next one, you can also generate QR code. So you can download this code and probably embed it in your lecture slide. At the end of your uh, lecture, you can just share it to the students and the students can just um, scan the QR code. Then they will be able to answer the online quiz here. You can also get the code to embed it in a web page or sway. And finally, you can also email the quiz. Um, if you are using Microsoft Forms, sorry, Microsoft Teams, you can also insert the quiz as one of the assignment by going to assignments and then you create quiz. And then you can just choose the form that you have created before this. Okay, of course, there are certain settings, but it is pretty similar to the one that is in Microsoft Forms as well. Okay. After the students have completed answering the quiz, you may see their responses by clicking the responses tab here. However, in this quiz, there's no response yet. Okay, so I'm just going to show you an example of my previous quiz. So there are 65 responses. And you may view the performance based on each question by looking at the pie chart here. Okay, you can also review answers based on the student or based on the question. If you set not to show result automatically, then your students will not be able to know what their results until you post the scores. Okay, so tick here to click all of the students names and you may click the post scores however in this case i have posted the scores to the student so you can only post scores to the email once so posting scores will give respondent access to view the results and also the feedback for the quiz so in this session i have shown you on how to create a new quiz and its setting I have shown you on how to share the quiz with your students and finally you can view the responses and also post the scores to your students once the quiz is completed by them. I hope this session will be useful for all. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.